welcome to FNS Yamaha and Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Northeast largest express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more than likely you'll be speaking with me. Walkthrough of a 2023 Express H20 Bay, 20 foot center console bay model. Like all Expresses, they're all aluminum, all welded. Express was the inventor of the all welded aluminum boat. And in my opinion, they still lead the industry today. They're privately owned, third generation. Like I said, 20 footer. This particular boat has a 115 horsepower. Like all Expresses, they're partnered exclusively with Yamaha. And we run Yamaha's VMAX SHO motors on pretty well all Expresses. Uh, the SHOs are a higher performer versus their standard motors and, and work better uh, with Express uh, high performance hulls. Max horsepower on this boat is a 150, and, but this one has a 115. Performance with a 115, you're about mid 40s roughly, depending on how the boat is uh, loaded in a particular day of water conditions. All aluminum trailer, which is made in-house by Express. And the fits the boat spot on. Aluminum rims, which is an upgrade on this boat. Another upgrade is a lighted logo trailer step. You can see the Express logo lit up there. Lights up bright at night. Of course, LED lights, matching spare tire. Saltwater trailer package. So with the saltwater trailer package, the bunks are covered uh, in plastic uh, and also upgraded bow roller. We get that with all of our bay boats. It's a better scenario for any brackish or saltwater application versus the carpet. Take note to the bunks in the back and how well the trailer fits the boat. You see the four bunks. Makes it very easy to load and unload. Six inch jack plate. I feel it's important that the pretty well every express that we order, I uh, get with jack plates, whether it be a manual jack plate like this or hydraulic. And feel free to shoot me a line. I'd be glad to explain the differences between the two. But the jack plates with expresses uh, performance haul it makes them perform better uh, whole shot turning uh, even top end of course and also little things like clearances of cables back at the transom that's why I get every every express with a jack plate you probably see the express has quite a reputation for ride and handling uh, in the industry in my opinion it's uh, the best or if not one of the best in the aluminum world and they rival many fiberglass boats and what makes that is how their hulls are put together and how they're constructed this is an example of how the hulls constructed and what you're looking at here uh, where the yellow sticker is the, is the bottom of the boat this is the floor take note to the spray and liner every express comes standard with spray and liner on top of the decks and they spray in every hatch and every compartment Cross members that run throughout, and then foam is sprayed between the floor and the bottom of the boat. It makes a very quiet ride. But all these little things make a very good riding boat. It's definitely not your conventional aluminum boat in the industry. Like I said, they rival many fiberglass boats. In my opinion, it's almost, I consider it express almost a hybrid in the industry uh, between fiberglass and aluminum. And with the hyperlift hull, there's also a pad. So in the very back of the boat here, about 12 inches wide and about two feet long is a pad. And when the boat's running fast, the only thing that's in the water is the pad. So that makes it uh, go faster because very little of the water, or yeah, very little of the boat is actually in the water. It also makes it ride better because not much of the boat's in the water. And then along with the Aggressive steps and the reverse chine makes them very stable 
So two, three guys can walk to the edge of the boat, rocks very little, and they also turn on a dime. Conventional aluminum boat, when you turn it at a faster speed, will skip like a rock. The expresses will turn immediately. If you uh, look us up online, you'll see we have a great service reputation. If you look at our Google reviews, Facebook reviews, we uh, really pride ourselves in our service here at FNS. And along with that, every Express that we sell, we go through them very thoroughly. So not just Express, but every boat in the industry needs help when it comes from the factory to fix little things, uh, corrections, repairs. And the good dealers will go through a boat very thoroughly before you receive it to try to make it as trouble-free as possible. And then in addition to that, we also go to the water with every boat before you receive it. Uh, because there's certain things we can only check in the water. Like fitting leaks and propping and that type of thing. And we also go with most customers to the water to show them how to use their boat in the water. It's one thing to explain it here on land, but it's much more thorough to go to the water with a customer to show them how to use their boat. This boat is a two-tone color, has silver bottom with a white upper and then white spray liner with the blue appearance package. So with the blue appearance package, you get blue stripes on the side of the boat, blue stripes on the seats, and blue sea deck. If you're not familiar with sea deck, that's the floor covering, which is right here. We get pretty well all of our expresses uh, with sea deck. And then when you get the appearance package, you can choose one of six different colors of the stripes and then the sea deck gets uh, one millimeter thicker as well a uh, sea deck is very nice to walk on easy to clean dries quickly hooks don't snag in it so it basically has all the advantages of carpet with none of the disadvantages and even little things like down the road if you damage this panel you can replace that just that one panel also this boat has the extreme stainless package with that, you get the steering wheel stainless, rod holders and stainless, cup holders, leaning post stainless with footrest and backrest, and six stainless foldable cleats. Another upgrade on this one is the Extreme Redfish package. So with the Extreme Redfish package, you get six gauge trolling motor wiring, Two bank battery charger for the 24 volt trolling motor. Upgraded trolling motor and fish finder, but then we upgraded beyond this extreme redfish package to Ben Coda Riptide Tarova 80 pound 24 volt with iPilot spot lock. And then we also upgraded to the quick disconnect slider bracket and the heavy duty plug. Nine inch Hummingbird comes with the Extreme Redfish package, but then we upgrade to the side imaging unit. Stainless prop, ladder, another upgrade, 40 gallon fuel tank, Two bilge pumps, so you get your standard manual pump, and then an upgrade we did with this one is an auto pump as well. So there's two bilge pumps, and then the auto bilge pump is hardwired, so that in case you uh, moor it somewhere, it's always gonna pump the water out. Hydraulic steering, and then we upgrade to the U-Flex hydraulic steering. The U-Flex, there's two options, U-Flex and Seastar. All of our bay boats we get with U-Flex, they have better corrosion resistance than what the Seastar system does. Black plug there on the side is where you uh, plug into your battery charger. Charge your trolling motor batteries. The trolling motor batteries are in the console. Jumping in the boat. 
Big center console. These boats are wide, 95 inch beams. Cool C deck pad on top of the console there. Where's all your switches? Live oil switch, master power switch, nav lights, gauge, uh, fuel gauge, trim gauge. There's an hour meter, digital, and of course, a tachometer. Jumping in the console, this is where the charger and trolling motor batteries are housed. Two live wells. You have a bait well live well at the front of the boat, which is underneath the seat. And then also two at the rear of the boat, behind the leaning post, is a, another live well. Just right here. Two fold down foldable seats, of course, front deck, rear deck. Rod storages, the rod storage runs up underneath the front deck. More storage in here with a tub. The tub is removable and then underneath the tub, basically it's huge storage area. Of course, underneath the bait well is a seat. Two jump seats. So underneath here is a jump seat, one on either side. And underneath each jump seat is an insulated cooler, which is here. 40 gallon fuel tank, which is at the back of the boat. Here. Of course, this is where the pumps are, boat battery. This particular boat, like I said, has a nine inch helix side imaging fish finder at the dash. But we do many other upgrades here at FNS. We welcome that for bow mount, fish finder, different trolling motors, whether it be Humminbird or Garmin, uh, shallow water anchors, lithium batteries. We stock uh, everything, uh, pretty well everything by, made by Humminbird, uh, Minn Kota, Power pole, which we do power pole chargers and shallow water anchors, Minn Kota shallow water anchors. And I'd be glad to help you with what makes the most sense uh, for what you have in mind or even kind of help you along with explaining what uh, will make the most sense. I appreciate you watching. Our contact information is at the bottom of the screen. Or look us up at our website, fsyamahal.com. Again, I'm Andy. Please let me know questions.